incidence of illness and improve recovery times if you do get sick. All right, so let's go through all the specs and the features. And we're going to go through each one of the ingredients uh, in short detail. First one is zinc. Everybody, or most everybody knows that zinc helps reduce the length of a cold. Zinc is a key mineral for optimal immune system function, and it helps for better utilization of all the other ingredients in this uh, supplement that helps build immunity. Selenium is another key element that is foundational to good immune system function. With zinc and selenium on hand, there can be better results for any immune enhancing protocols. And as we know, both of those minerals are very deficient in the standard American diet. Vitamin D3, a well-known vitamin, actually a hormone, that is critical for better immune function and one of the most deficient nutrients in North America and Northern European countries. Vitamin D can modulate the innate and adaptive immune system. Cells of the immune system possess vitamin D receptors. Vitamin D enhances the local capacity of the epithelium to produce endogenous antibiotics and also reduces certain destructive arms of the immune response, especially those responsible for signs and symptoms of acute inflammation. Vitamin D3 is a natural form of vitamin D. It is considered by most experts in scientific studies to have the greatest proven benefit. Studies are now showing that regular supplementation of vitamin D3 is best year-round and have greater health benefits, especially in elderly populations. Glutathione is a key antioxidant for cell protection and repair and growing, and, and, is, growing is, and is growing as a marker for human disease. Excuse me. There is a wide variety of positive effects. Interestingly, with glutathione, for years, you can only get it through IV, or you could take the components like whey protein and N-acetylcysteine, and your body would create it. But now, through pure Cetria, there's a brand called, it's a reduced L-glutathione that can be absorbed and is not destructed by uh, the stomach acid. So it's Cetria. Glutathione is found in all varying degrees, cells, tissues, body fluids, and organ systems. It supports the liver and immune system function. Acerola is a form of vitamin C and natural bioflavonoids. Acerola is from the acerola cherry and is rich in vitamin C, bioflavonoids, magnesium, pantothenic acid, and vitamin A. It has significant antioxidant properties and enhances immune function. Echinacea is another one of those herbs that has been known to help reduce the incidence of cold and used for millennia. Echinacea helps increase white blood cells, macrophages, natural killer cells, and T cells, and interferon, and helps tissue repair. Olive leaf is in this product. Olive leaf is a potent antibacterial, antifungal, antiparasitic, and antioxidant herb. It weakens microorganisms and interferes with the ability of the virus to assemble at the cell membrane. Oleopine inactivates the microorganism by dissolving the outer layer of the microbe and is able to penetrate infected cells. Olive leaf stimulates phagocyte production, which enables the immune system to destroy microbes. Elderberry, which again has been known for millennia to help reduce cough and cold, contains anthocyanins in elderberry, elderberry boosts the immune system cytokines, the protein messengers within our immune system. It also possesses anti-inflammatory properties which have been a positive effect on aches, pains, and fever. Recent studies have indicated that elderberry may have antiviral activity, increasing its value as a preventative measure. Lastly, is maitake mushroom. Maitake mushroom is also known as hen of the woods. Uh, we knew we had to get a mushroom in here because of their fantastic properties. So maitake is a tonic and an adaptogen, enabling the body to adapt to stress and resist infection. Maitake increases the activity of microphages, T cells, and, and natural killer cells. It's beta-glucans, which are a form of glucose or carbohydrate, bind to the receptors on macrophages and other white blood cells, including natural killer cells and cytotoxic T cells, which flips white blood cells on and triggers a chain reaction leading to increased immune activity. As always, well, let me just back up and say, so you could see how complete, complex, and how we hit the immune system in a variety of ways. Do you have anything to add there, Mike? Um, yeah, first of all, that was a mouthful. It sure was. <laughs> um, but if you, no if you notice something, for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, we're, we're coming into our uh, fall and, and winter months, and we wanted to get ahead of this. When you, when you talk about, Noah, when you talked about those first three, zinc, selenium, and vitamin D, the interesting thing about all three is that, uh, the, especially in, in North America, we are 
uh, really deficient in all three. Yes. And especially for the vitamin D during the winter months, we do not make any on our skin because the angle of the sun is too low to to cause the body. That's where it's made on us is on our skin. So we can't make any. And and this is what happens to the opportunist, opportunistic um, bacteria bacteria and viral infections to occur when we're when we're low in vitamin D. Um, glutathione is 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 uh, the same where we're where it's really hard for us to get enough glutathione in in our diet. And, and the other part of that is it's in, it has traditionally been really hard um, to pass through the gut without it being destroyed. So this new brand that, that we have um, is huge in able to get glutathione to where it needs to go. Uh, and you are the mushroom guy, and really, um, folks, when we, when we sat down to um, formulate this product, Noah was the one who really was pushing for the mataki or, or some form of mushroom. And this one is amazing in that it's adaptogenic, uh, it, it, it helps to resist infection, it increases macrophages. Macrophages are kind of like, for those of you who are old enough, or like them little Pac-Man mm-hmm. uh, guys going around eating all the bad guys, and then killer, uh, killer T-cells and NK cells, it's huge. So that's all I had to add. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's perfect commentary. I'd just like to add one more thing about vitamin D. Even if you take vitamin D on a regular basis, there's ju- there's enough vitamin D in there that, that it won't be too much for you. And if you don't take any vitamin D, it'll get you started in the right direction. So it, it is just a supplement for just about everybody. And lastly, I just want to say, as always, this supplement does not contain any corn, dairy, gluten, soy, wheat, or yeast. And as always, absolutely zero fillers. I'm telling you, folks. Supplement companies cannot say this, but we can say this for nearly all of our supplements. There is no magnesium stearate because there's no room. It's all product. That's awesome. So how do you use this product? Um, Our recommendation is to take one capsule twice.